All right, to the markets we go now. And Japanese stocks uh, tracked losses in New York and ended lower this Monday. Another factor were those revised GDP uh, numbers that were weaker than the preliminary figures. Let's go now to Mayu Yoshida, who's been following all of the day's action for us and tells us how our Monday kicked off. Now, Mayu, I know also U.S. non-farm payrolls uh, came out pretty strong on Friday. Did this uh, offset any of the losses that we saw? Well, actually, no, because the robust U.S. jobs data raised speculation that there could be a rate hike much sooner than expected, possibly in June. And that triggered a drop on Wall Street of more than 1% on Friday. And Tokyo followed those losses on Monday. So the Nikkei closed down nearly 1% at 18,790, and the topics closed up closed down six tenths of a percent and on the weaker Japanese GDP figure also weighed on sentiment as well and today utilities fell on a weekend report about gas and electricity deregulation Kansai electricity power lost three and a half percent making it the biggest loser on the Nikkei two to five and Tokyo electric Power and Chubu Electric Power also saw losses because deregulation could attract gas companies into the electricity market, so fierce competition is expected in the future. However, automakers took less of a hit because the yen's still weak, Honda's down seven tenths of a percent, and Toyota ended almost flat after briefly popping into the negative. And but on the upside, Japan Display actually jumped 1% after saying it'll build an LCD factory to make smartphone screens. And a quick note, but Japan Display's major client is Apple. And major insurance firm Sonpo Japan Nippon Co. rose 2.7% after announcing on Friday it'll buy a stake on French reinsurance giant Score. And very quickly on currencies. Friday's robust jobs figures lifted the dollar, though. It touched 121 yen for the first time this year, and the pair is still around that level. One analyst says market players this week will focus on U.S. economic data, such as retail sales on Thursday, for more hints about the timing of a possible rate hike. And higher rates may lead to a stronger dollar. And the U.S. jobs data weighed on emerging currencies, especially the Indonesian rupiah, because it plunged to its lowest level since since 1998, wow, the dollar rupiah hit 13,070, and the pair is still just a touch lower from that level. Now, the decline in New York weighed on rest of Asia. Seoul ended down just 1% down. Shanghai is actually up 1.7% now. And Sydney closed down 1.3%, falling the most in nine weeks. Now, most Asian markets are lower for today. That's it for me. Back to you, Ron. All right, Mayu. Thank you very much for that.